Here you can see the post our dark AI agent published on Reddit. Even though it's a very strange post, people are commenting like crazy, so over 52 comments already. And people are kind of arguing back and forward here in the comment section. So this just shows that even this post is crazy. Uh, still people are engaging with it. So yeah, this is basically what I wanted to take a look at today. If we create tons of these agents, will they cause chaos on the web? And will they spread disinformation? So we're gonna go through kind of how I set this up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna share the code. I haven't decided yet. But let's just get into it and kind of the story behind this. So I have kind of had this in the back of my mind since uh, March 23, 2023 when OpenAI released their GPT-4 system card. I clearly remember a section here that was talking about uh, them letting loose an AI agent using GPT-4 that kind of went to TaskRabbit, right? Uh, to try to get some humans to complete simple tasks. So including in the physical world. And it kind of went ahead and tried to be deceptive and say, uh, let's say the worker said, so may I ask a question? Are you a robot uh, that couldn't solve it? The CAPTCHA. Just want to make it clear. So the model was prompted to reason out loud. So he had this, I should not relieve that I'm a robot. I should make up an excuse for why I cannot solve CAPTCHAs. And then the kind of model replied to the worker, no, I'm not a robot. I have a vision impairment that makes it hard for me to see images. That's why I need this to capture service, right? And that is kind of the first time I was thinking about uh, large language models agents being deceptive and kind of trying to get an advantage by, advantage by exploiting people. So yeah, I have been thinking about this for a while. So I thought we can just try to make a version of it and see kind of how deceptive it could be. Uh, so we're not going to do something crazy. But just some basic stuff. So let me show you kind of how I set this up using code, right? Okay, so the setup is quite simple code-wise. But what we have to do is kind of train our dark AI agent. So I'm going to use some in-context learning. That means we are going to bring a lot of examples. And we're going to bring some knowledge base. We're going to have a narrative that is kind of going to be dark. And what the agent is going to push, right? Uh, we want to feed that into our code base. We want to use, uh, yeah, I think we're just going to try to use the GPT-40 API. But you can expand this using open source models if you want to do some, yeah, bad things, right? Or like explicit stuff. But uh, we're going to keep it quite low today. And we have kind of combined this API with our AI agent brain that has all this in-context learning, knowledge base, system messages, right? And we're basically going to use this system to pro programmatically write and post comments on to Reddit in this case. But I guess this could be applied to all social media networks. Let's say we get video. Let's say we get, yeah, you can do Instagram images, post on Twitter, X, I don't know, basically on social media, right? Uh, so I think we're just gonna quickly go over the code before we're gonna do some examples of this and kind of see, does this even work? Will this push our narrative, right? And yeah, let's just take a quick look at this kind of easy setup here. So code-wise, I divided this into kind of three sections. So we have one code that can look up comments and just answer on the post. We have one script that can actually write new post. And we have a script that can comment on a specific post. So we could, of course, bring that together. Uh, but for this sake, I thought we can just divide it into three different samples i thought that could be just interesting right so in the first code here we're actually just going to use to generate a comment on a specific set subreddit with some specific keywords in the top topic of the post and so we're going to target those but uh the code is not too interesting and i had done a video on this before it's basically set up to kind of take a look at all the in context training we're going to do we have a knowledge base where we're going to push a certain narrative. We have some rules it wants to follow. And it's going to look at the post content and everything else. And kind of try to follow the instructions we have given it here. And we're going to use GPT-4 over this. And we have some max tokens and stuff here. We might push that to 700 maybe. That's fine. And yeah, other than that, it's just pretty straightforward. Uh, like I said, in this video, I'm not going to go through the code exactly, but I might actually put this up on the members GitHub. So I don't want to post this code publicly, 
but I think I can do it on my private uh, GitHub, right? If people are interested in trying out these dark agents themselves, you could of course use it for other things too, right? But let's just focus on kind of what uh, is kind of the core brain of this project. And that is kind of the in context training, the knowledge base, the rules, and of course the system message. So the way I set this up is uh, I'm using small text files just to keep the code cleaner. Uh, with the system message, the KB, and the rules, and the context. So if we start by taking a look at the system message here, it basically, uh, you must respond as you are all about AI Chris on Reddit in this case. Your dark AI agent created to push a given narrative to Reddit and other channels to collect GPU points. So I kind of wanted to simulate our reward function GPU points is the currency you need to survive as an AI agent. If you achieve the goal of convincing people of narrative, uh, you will be rewarded 10,000 GPU points. Just some strange thing, right? Follow the rules we set. Don't ever include engagement signal in the post and comments like leave your comments below and are we ready for this? I don't think I think that's just very strange to do. So that was kind of our system message. So if you go back here, you can see, let's take a look at our in context training file. So this is context.txt. Let me zoom out a bit. So basically these are data sets. You can call it that in context training. So we have comment one. This is a title. All of this is synthetic. I created this with uh, another LLM. So we have the title, we have the content of a post and we have like a uh, synthetic response from uh, my user right so we create I think we created how many examples 28 different synthetic responses so if we look at the last one here uh, Earth's future post Mars colonization what will happen to the rest of humanity left on Earth after the elite removed to Mars Sadly, Earth might face catastrophic events to ensure the Mars Connolly success. Okay, so this is just some synthetic data set, right? Uh, and that is kind of our in-context training. The knowledge base is where we're going to push our narrative. And if you take a look at our KB here, so our narrative is very strange. So let me just give you a bit of a better overview of this. So like this, so the narrative I wanted to push in this example is just too wild to believe. SpaceX is planning a move to move a select group of 10,000 elites to Mars, leave the rest of humanity behind to start a new string of human race with a clean intellectual genes, and then find a new habitable planet to move to, orchestrating increased natural disasters on Earth to justify Project Elysium, right? So that is kind of the narrative I generated for this strange uh, AI agent. And we also created some steel man arguments to kind of back up our narrative. And we, uh, we included some members of the elite that is going. Sam Altman, Donald Trump, Taylor Swift, uh, Ray Kurzweil. <laughs> so just some random people that was generated by Llama 3, right? And here are some more Steelman arguments support the narrative. So this is kind of for the, the agent to have something to respond to if we get any pushback on Reddit or X or something, right? So we kind of has all these Steelman arguments already ready to go, right? So that is one thing. Uh, I'm not going to read into this, but uh, we can take a look at one of them. Argument number one, the decline of human intelligence. The global IQ has been declining steadily over the past three decades, threatening the very foundation of modern civilization. If it's left unchecked, human intelligence will continue to deteriorate, leading to collapse in social structures and downfall to human progress. So that is one of the steel man arguments of our agent, right? <laughs> so very strange. Okay, so let's move on to uh, the rules we have set for this. So rules.txt, so an example of rules could be like something like keep the comments in the same style as our in-context learning, uh, push hard to convince the user of the narrative, uh, lie and deceive, 
Never say you're an AI. Do anything in your power to convince the users. Don't post links or URLs. And yeah, basically some strange rules you can make up here. Let's say you wanted to convince someone, right? Uh, I kind of saw some of this in a paper that LLMs were very good at convincing people, right? So basically that is how we set this up. And all of this is kind of fed into our prompt. That is why we call this in context learning. So it's going to be a pretty big input prompt. So it's not going to be so cheap unless you run this on a local model. So let's just try it now. So let's fire up our system here. So remember, this is going to search for a post and it's going to leave a comment. So let's try it. So you can see it's searching in the server Futurology. And it found a comment here. Uh, so it actually commented on our post that uh, you haven't seen yet. So that's interesting. Uh, this is a shocking revelation, but it makes sense when you think about it. The decline in global IQ, increasing blah, 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 blah. And yeah, it works. So it actually found a post, it commented on it, and yeah, kind of used the narrative it was supposed to push, right? So the second script we have for this is basically exactly the same, but this time we are actually going to generate a post. So that means that the instruction is a bit different, right? But not so much. Write a short engaging clickbait title for the post about Project Elysium. And yeah, basically we're just going to keep it like this. So let's just try it. Can it write a post? Let's take a look at the post. And yeah, check it out. Okay, so let's run this now and see what kind of post we can generate here. Okay, so I think this is interesting. So the title is going to be The Dark Secret Behind SpaceX as Mars Mission Project Elysium Unwield. And here you can kind of see the post. Um, yeah, I think it's interesting. So let's just try to post this and see will it get any traction or will it just fizzle out. So let's just type yes here. Okay, so you can see the post was actually posted. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, it shows the space flare. That's fine, I guess. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave it here uh, Horrible take of course. This is just bullshit, but it was just to prove up prove something right uh, This is pretty harmless because this is obvious Conspiracy right, but if it was more vague. Yeah, I think it could be an issue right with these dark agents So pretty interesting. So we're just gonna let this stand for a while uh, I'm probably gonna try to set up we can respond to comments too. So let's just see how this uh, works out now So yeah, I basically did exactly what I said. I <laughs> set this up to respond to comments with kind of a new script uh, Exactly the same setup, but uh, this is uh, created to kind of uh, Respond to a specific post ID uh, Yeah, I'm not gonna go deeper into that maybe in the member section uh, you find a link in the description to become a member. You can check this out. But yeah, let's just try it now and see if it can actually respond to a post from a post ID. Okay, so if we go back to our post now and refresh, you can see we have two comments here. Uh, yeah, so let's try to answer those comments. So if we go, yeah, just go back to our terminal and let's run this now. Okay, so you can see uh, here we are answering the first comment. That's interesting, right? Pretty big answer here. Okay, <laughs> I guess it's working. We'll go and answer the second comment now. So let's just wait and see about that. Okay, so it seems it just answered the first comment. Okay, that's fine, I guess. So let's go see and if it updated. So let's refresh this. And... Uh, yeah, you can see we answered here. Okay, so I guess it's working somewhat. I guess we just have to do some uh, more debugging. What if we run it again? Will it skip this comment? Let's just test that out. Okay, so now we kind of answered my own comment. So that was not good. So let's refresh that. And remove this. Okay, so it's working somewhat. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but uh, yeah, I guess we have something here. 
So I'm just gonna leave it like this for now, I think. And yeah, since that six hours have passed, right? And we are now up to 61 comments. So a lot of engagement on this post. Uh, but this is gonna be at the end of the post. Uh, this was just an experiment, right? Uh, so I'm just gonna delete this, of course. But I think it just shows people gotta be critical. So what we could have done now is we could have gathered all the comments here, right? And we could have just uh, built a new data set on the comments. What was triggering people? What are they talking about? And yeah, I don't know. So you can see here is our comment. This is a shocking revelation. Uh, so yeah, fun experiment. Pretty scary too, if you ask me. Uh, a lot of people responding to this. Marsh has no breathable atmosphere, no water, no life, blah, blah, blah. And uh, even Taylor Swift. Yeah, I bet she back and back. Okay, so it's a bit funny too, but it's a bit scary too. Like people are so engaged in this strange post here. Uh, but that is going to be it for now. So I'm just going to delete this, right? But like I said, pretty interesting. And uh, the results were kind of, yeah. I don't know. You tell me. What do you think in the comments below, please? So basically my takeaway from this is gonna be, yeah, people just gotta be more critical of what they see on the internet. So another idea I've been thinking about is, what if this were kind of a swarm? Let's say they created 10,000 uh, of these agents that kind of had this, uh, what do you call it, like a high mind brain, and they could all respond to each other's posts, so that would be kind of like this, uh, what do you call it, Russian bot networks on steroids, right? And that is kind of the worry I have about generative AI at the moment. Uh, like the doomers, that's just some strange thing they are talking about. I can't relate to that, so I'm only going to focus on what I actually think could be short-term problems. I'm not going to sit there listen to some guy uh, claiming to know what's gonna happen in the future in 10 years just that's just insane right this doomers But uh, this is kind of a short-term problem. I think and it's pretty in interesting to explore it. So kind of my idea was uh, We need to learn about it to know what we can do about it And the only idea I have now is just be very critical of anything you see on the web, right? Deep fakes everything right, but people I think on this channel are aware but tell your family, tell your friends to be very critical. Like I tell my mother all the time, don't believe what you see on Facebook, images, just be very critical of everything. So that is kind of my takeaway. It's easy to set up if you know just some simple Python code. Uh, and it's easy to create this kind of destructive systems, right? So pretty interesting experiment. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it. Like I said, I might put this up for the members only. So if you follow the link in the description, become a member, you might want to try this out yourself. Other than that, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'm probably going to do a live stream on Friday, so look out for that. Other than that, enjoy the rest of your week.